The Comic Underground Movement, also known as Comics Movement, refers to a significant countercultural phenomenon that emerged in the 60s and 70s in the United States. It was a subversive and alternative approach to creating and distributing comics, which challenged the mainstream comic industry's convention and content. Comics spelled with an X to differentiate them from conventional comics were characterized by their non-traditional narrative, explicit content, and a more personal and experimental artistic style. The movement sought to explore a wide range of themes including political satire, social commentary, drug culture, sexuality, and personal introspection. Comics artists often embraced controversial and taboo subjects, pushing the boundaries of what was acceptable in comics. The historic origins of the comics movement can be traced back to the underground press and the countercultural movements of the 60s in the United States. During this time, various social and political factors contributed to the emergence of alternative forms of expression, including, of course, comics. In the 50s, the comic book industry faced severe censorship and regulation due to the establishment of the Comics Code Authority. The CCA imposed a strict guideline on comic book content, effectively stifling creativity and forcing mainstream publishers to produce comics with a much lower tone, less violent, and without overly adult themes. This led to a decline in artistic freedom. However, in the 60s, as the civil rights movement, anti-war protests, and the rise of the counterculture gained momentum, a group of artists began to challenge the status quo. They saw comics as a potential medium for expressing their dissatisfaction with societal norms and pushing the boundaries of their artistic vision. One of the earliest and most influential precursors to the comics movement was Herbie Kurtzman's Mad Magazine, which debuted in 1952. Matt satirized popular culture, politics, and advertising, employing a subversive and irreverent tone. While Matt was not part of the underground comics scene, its influence on subsequent artists cannot be overlooked, as it demonstrated that comics could be a vehicle for social criticism and satire. The underground press, comprising alternative newspapers, a magazine that circulated outside the mainstream media played a vital role in fostering the comics movement. Many underground papers embraced comic strips as a means to engage readers and convey alternative viewpoints. The countercultural atmosphere of the 60s provided a fertile ground for the comics movement. The sexual revolution, the influence of drugs like LSD, and the anti-establishment sentiment all found their way into the content and themes explored by comics artists. By the 70s, the comics movement had gained considerable momentum. Artists were self-publishing and distributing their works through independent channels, bypassing the mainstream publishing industry. This autonomy allowed them to create comics that were raw and censored and often controversial. Overall, the historic origin of the comics movement can be attributed to a combination of factors, including the stifling effects of censorship in mainstream comics, the countercultural movement of the 60s, and the emergence of alternative publications. These influences converge to create a space for artists to challenge conventions, experiment with content and style, and pave the way for a new era of alternative and independent comics. The comics movement was characterized by several key characteristics and themes that set it apart from mainstream comics of the time. Here are some of the notable features. Non-traditional narrative Comics often rejected traditional narrative structure. They embraced non-linear storytelling and fragmented narrative that reflected the countercultural mindset. Underground and independent distribution Comics artists self-published their works and distributed them through alternative channels such as head shops, independent record stores, and underground newspapers. This allowed them to bypass mainstream publishers and censorship, maintaining creative control and reaching a niche audience. Experimental artistic style Comics artists explored a wide range of artistic styles, often rejecting 
the polish and formulaic aesthetics of mainstream comics, they incorporated elements of underground art movements such as surrealism, psychedelic art, and street art to create visually striking and unconventional illustration. Social and political satire Artists use their work to criticize and lampoon authority figures, social norms, and institutions. They addressed issues such as war, racism, sexism, government corruption, and consumer culture, offering a dissenting perspective of prevailing power structures. Explicit and taboo content. They explore themes of sexuality, drug culture, violence, in ways that challenge social taboos personal and autobiographical stories. Artists shared their own experiences, emotions and perspectives, offering a level of authenticity and vulnerability that resonated with the reader. These personal stories added depth and sense of connection to the medium. Several underground comics publishers and artists played a crucial role in shaping and defining the movement. Artists such as Robert Crumb, considered one of the most influential and iconic artists of the comics movement. Robert Crumb created characters like Fritz the Cat and Mr. Natural. His provocative and satirical work had a lasting impact on the medium. Gilbert Shelton known for his work on the fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. Shelton's comics humorously explored drug culture, countercultural lifestyle, and social satire. His characters and stories became iconic within the movement. Spain Rodriguez, he was recognized for his politically charged and rebellious comics such as Trash Man. S. Clay Wilson, He was characterized by their extreme and often violent imagery, exploring themes of sexuality, grotesque fantasy, and anti-authoritarianism. He is known for his contribution to the underground newspaper, the San Francisco Oracle, and his character, the Shepherd Timon. Trina Robbins She was one of the few prominent female artists in the underground comics scene. Her work often focused on the female perspective, challenging gender stereotypes and advocating for a more relevant role for women in society. Justin Green, his autobiographical comics, particularly his work Binky Brown meets the Holy Virgin Mary, dealt with his personal experiences with mental illness, religion and identity. His introspective narrative added depth and emotional resonance to the movement. Some of the publishers that supported those artists were Print Mint, founded by Don Shanker and his wife Alice. Print Mint was one of the earliest and most influential publishers of underground comics. They published seminal work by artists like Robert Crump, Gilbert Shelton, and Spain Rodriguez. Last Gasp, founded by Ron Turner, became a prominent publisher of underground comics and alternative literature. They published works by a diverse range of artists including S. Clay Wilson, Trina Robbins, and Justin Green. Rip Off Press, founded by Fred Todd, Gilbert Shelton, Jack Jackson, and Dave Moriarty. Rip Off Press was known for publishing edgy and irreverent comics. They released works by artists like Gilbert Shelton, Frank Stack, and Dave Sheridan. Kitchen Sink Press, founded by Dennis Kitchen, they published works by Doug Allen, Jay Lynch, Will Eisner, and many others notable artists, not only for the underground scene. These are just a few examples of the many publishers and artists who contributed to the underground comics movement. Their distinctive style, provocative content, and alternative perspective helped define and shape the movement, leaving a lasting impact of the world of comics. The comics movement had a significant social-political impact and left a lasting legacy in several ways. As mentioned before, the comics movement served as a platform for artists to challenge social norms, taboos, censorship, and use their work to critique and satirize authority figures, but also contributed with the expansion of alternative publishing. This movement 
popularized self-publishing and alternative distribution methods, artists took control of their own creative output and bypassed mainstream publisher, enabling greater artistic autonomy and wider range of voices to be heard. This do-it-yourself approach influenced subsequent generations of independent and alternative comics creators, contributing to the growth of alternative publishing industry. Also, the comics movement played a significant role in paving the way for the graphic novel medium. The movement demonstrated that comics could tackle complex narratives and themes beyond the superhero genre, and that they could be recognized as a legitimate form of a storytelling and literature. The artistic experimentation and personal storytelling found in comics influenced the development of the graphic novel as a respected and diverse art form. Comics has a profound influence on popular culture and the art. The movement reflected and shaped the countercultural movements of the 60s and 70s, contributing to the broader cultural shift of the era. Comics imagery and characters became iconic symbols of rebellion, with characters like Robert Crumb's Fritz the Cat transcending the medium and entering mainstream consciousness. Overall, the comics movement, sociopolitical impact, and legacy lie in its role as catalyst for artistic freedom, social critic, and alternative publishing. It opened doors for marginalized voices, expanded the boundaries of storytelling in comics, and left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of the time and beyond. This movement continues to have a contemporary relevance and has experienced a revival in recent years. The movement paved the way for alternative and independent comics, which remain vibrant and relevant today. Independent artists and publishers continue to embrace the spirit of the comics movement. They use self-publishing online platforms and alternative distribution channels to reach audiences and maintain creative control. Comic artists today employ the tradition of social and political commentary established by the movement. They address current issues such as government control, media manipulation, and the impact of technology. The comics movement's legacy of artistic experimentation remains influential. Contemporary comic artists continue to push the boundaries of visual storytelling, exploring new techniques, styles, and formats. They incorporate elements from fine art, graphic design, and other disciplines to create innovative and visually striking works. The comic underground emerged as a powerful force in the 60s, challenging censorship and mainstream conventions. It provided a platform for artists to express their unfiltered thoughts, critique social and political structures, and push the boundaries of artistic expression. The movement's impact was far-reaching, expanding the possibilities of comics and influencing subsequent generations of artists. I encourage you as a viewers to explore the works of comics artists, dive into their raw, subversive and thought-provoking comics that shaped an era and continues to resonate today. The comics movement remains as a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of comics as a medium of artistic expression and social critic. Join the movement, embrace the rebellious spirit, and explore the rich world of comics. Let their voices inspire and challenge you as we continue to navigate the ever-changing landscape of art, society, and culture.